I'm a millennial, and like most millennials, I am absolutely obsessed with my food and foodie trends like the farm to fork movement. It's movements like this that encourage people to purchase the majority of their produce from local farmers like this like here, as opposed to from supermarkets that support large wasteful factory farm industries. And I can tell you just how wasteful these industries are because that's me in the blue hairnet up there at the multi-million dollar fruit packing company I worked for in college. It was there that I realized just how picky American eaters are and how those picky eating habits are hurting the environment. I saw how the demand for food and fruit that was desirable and appealing looking and familiar, people want what they're used to, led factories such as this to discard an astounding amount of food that just wasn't as in demand because it didn't fit that criteria. I also saw how it encourages the production of large macro plantations that focus in on these cash crops but are incredibly taxing on the environment compared to multiple smaller scale farming practices. All of this is driven by a demand for food that is convenient, familiar, and appealing to American consumers. Farm to Fork seeks to address this though by encouraging people to purchase food that's rather sustainable and responsible instead. I think that if we applied those same kind of food principles to the marine environment, our oceans could benefit greatly from them because they're not, our picky eating is not just limited to our terrestrial food sources. So to put some numbers on the pickiness, 47,000 species are fished around the globe every year, but just 20 species make up half of that total catch. That's 20 out of 47,000. So this pushes a lot of the wild populations to the brink of collapse because of the hyper-focus of fishing pressure. And it's important for us American consumers to keep the status of these global fisheries in mind because we import over 90% of our seafood. So what we purchase in grocery stores here creates demand for seafood all around the world. And currently we are obsessed with just a small handful of species, namely shrimp and large predatory fish such as cod, salmon, and tuna. And again, this is because we want what's familiar and convenient. So shrimp and canned tuna are American staples that everyone's used to purchasing. And then large predatory fish like cod and salmon produce the nice appealing fillets that we're used to finding in our grocery stores and that we're used to cooking at home. However, because we have fished these wild populations so heavily, aquaculture has risen to meet the demand for our food. But this has led to the development of very unsustainable aquaculture practices that are often expanding faster than they can be regulated. And while sustainable aquaculture does exist, it requires a consumer to be educated about where their food is coming from. And it's often impossible to farm sustainably the large predatory species we like so much because right, they're extremely polluting and they're very resource hungry. They're literally hungry. They take at least 10 to 20 pounds of fish meal to produce one pound of farmed cod or salmon or tuna. This is incredibly wasteful when you consider that the wild caught populations of anchovies and sardines and mackerel, which are among the most heavily fished in the entire world, are the ones that are put, getting put into that fish meal to feed the aquaculture species. We would need to pull so much fewer fish out of the ocean if we just ate the fish that we are actually catching instead of turning to aquaculture unsustainably. This requires us to get a little more adventurous with our food though. Now I know when I say sardines and herring, you picture those horrifying smelly little cans and you don't want them at all. But they don't have to be like that. We just need to get a little more adventurous and creative. Think outside of the can. Farm to Fork has encouraged us to reach for produce that we would have never eaten 20 to 30 years ago, like persimmons and chard. Why can't we do the same with our seafood? We just need to get a little creative. Picture a nice smoked herring baguette or a marinated sardine salad topped crostini. It could be great, but we can't know until we try it. It's time we educated ourselves about where our seafood's coming from and got as adventurous and trendy with our seafood sustainability as we do with our terrestrial food sources. The oceans will thank you.